Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about some of the land improvements that you can look forward to having to do if you decide to move off grid in the bush in the mountains as soon as I come back on the Eric McNeil Be Free Show. Black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty, we are Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Eric McNeil and this is the Eric McNeil Be Free Show, where it's all about being financially independent, responsible for self, enjoying life and empowering others. So today, we're just going to discuss some more of the land improvements. We talked about land and uh, not being fooled by cheap land because there's always going to be improvements that you have to do on that land so a lot of people they go out and they purchase this land thinking that hey I got a great deal but they've never done this before so they get tripped up um, once they discover all of the different improvements that they have to make to uh, make that land usable so anyway today we have uh, we have the backhoe out here so we have a machine out here that's removing the tree stumps. So when we came out here, and um, this was nothing but bush. Everything you see here was nothing but trees and bushes and grass, right? You could not look, you could not uh, see that this was a plateau here. I couldn't see it was a plateau. So my builder, general contractor slash builder, uh, Brandon Rogers of Migrating Culture, is the one that came through the property and say hey there's a good piece of land right here you know you can get your five acres it, it kind of plateaus I couldn't tell that because it was all bush it was all trees right and we we actually cleared this entire uh, piece of property that you're looking at everything that you see where you don't see trees we clear this so now because we clear this we want to now go back and replant trees that are beneficial for us, right? Now, here's the thing. When we first moved here, right, this was new for me. So, um, we planted a lot of trees. You know, I've been getting questions on my uh, Facebook page or questions on, um, and I'm sorry if you can't see me, this uh, camera it's not doing very well um, and the sun is going down also but I've been getting questions on my YouTube channel my Facebook page and you know people say oh you guys are you gonna plant the trees back here you, 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 you're disturbing the pro you're disturbing the lands you're doing this you're doing that you know and a lot of that stuff uh, it just goes in one ear and out the other for me. I don't pay it too much of a t attention um, because a lot of people, you know, if, if I if I believe that the people are truly concerned and they're not just trolling, then I might give it uh, some of my attention. But a lot of those people are trolls, so I don't pay it too much of attention. But at any rate, what we did is we cleared everything and we tried to get the trees. You need to, when you come out here, Here's the thing that you have to uh, think about is that this is essentially like a rainforest and you come out here and you talk about you just going to live with all the trees around you. Man, these insects will eat you alive. There's so many insects so you have to control so you have to get a balance so these insects won't eat you alive and um, so you won't have so many pests and things like that so you push the trees back you know you, you get rid of some of the bush but you want to go back and you want to plant things that are beneficial uh, for you so it's almost like you know okay you have this uh, um, empty empty spot where you can create what you want to create it's up to you to create something right if you if you don't create something then uh, something's gonna grow there and it's probably not going to be beneficial uh, for you to have it growing so you have to plant what you want to grow here so the first time what we did is we planted like a lot of trees 
and I didn't realize that those fires was going to swoop down and they burned a lot of the trees that we planted. I mean, we had fruit trees and, you know, uh, everything you can imagine planted. And man, them fires swooped down off that mountain and burnt them trees up. Some of the, a few of the trees still survived. A few of the fruit trees did survive, but a lot of them got burned. So now that I've sold the place, Okay, so as I was saying, the new owners now, they want to go back and plant, and they're putting the wall up, so they won't have as big a problem with the fires now that they're putting this uh, six-foot wall up, you know, and they're going to keep that area clear. Uh, so, you know, the only uh, problem they have is the embers that uh, blow over, but the fire just swooping in on them, burning everything, they likely won't have that problem. So, um, yeah, so th those, that's uh, one of the things you have to be concerned about when you're in the mountains, that the fires are going to come eh, once a year, two times a year or something, but they're going to be here. You know, no matter what you do, how much you pray, the fires are coming. So you have to, you know, uh, plan for that. Now, you know, and since we're in the bush, you see that, all right, so we had to clear this area. So you have all these tree stumps. And because we have the tree stumps, now um, the trees will just grow back if we didn't uh, remove the stumps. But they'll grow back, you know, uh, looking, looking terrible. And they won't be the type of trees that you want. You want fruit trees and you want things that are beneficial for you if it's going to be your land. I mean, me personally, I, I want food around me. You know, I just don't want no... Uh, a lot of wild trees growing around me. You know, I want some trees that give me shade and, you know, and then there's a lot of beneficial trees that was here, like uh, the neem trees and things like that, and that are uh, medicinal, and we've uh, kept those trees in the tree like that gives the incense and things like that. Uh, and so we, you know, some of those trees we kept, but uh, a lot of the trees, you know, we're cut down, so you can see, we'll walk out here and you can see where uh, we're removing. Hey Kitty, hey Kitty is following me now because I've been feeding her, so now, and then her, her parents, her real parents are gone, and so now she's my friend. But you can see that, uh, that we have the backhoe out here, and, He's been removing. So all day, he's actually been removing the tree stumps. And uh, we can walk through the yard. So, yeah, so the new owners, you know, they want to go ahead and um, actually replant trees all through here. So you can see that then these are things that if you don't think about these things up front, about the expenses that you're going to have later on, boy, to make that, that cheap piece of land you have expensive. And a lot of times people often wonder, they'll look at the developer and they say, oh, you're charging too much. Why is it so much for this, this land? And, I can go and buy this land. I can go and buy this land for much cheaper. I've had people tell me that, you know. Oh, this house, you're charging too much. And I can do this for this price. And I was like, you go right ahead and knock yourself out and let me know how it work out for you when you do it. Because a lot of times when people say that, they've never done it before. And so they don't know what to uh, expect, right? And, the, and it looks good on the surface when they just see a price and they don't really understand what they're looking at right they never built anything they never developed anything but yet they look at a price and they say oh that's too expensive and um, now when people say that I say well you go right ahead and knock yourself out let me know how it works out because all of this requires work you see, um, 
how large this area is and so the the machine got here the backhoe he got here I guess this morning about a little after eight and um, you know it might be uh, 5 5 p.m. now so he's been here all day doing this so this is one day's worth of work just removing all of these uh, these tree trunks right so yeah so that's what we've been been doing and you know of course we got a lot of stones out here as well so you know that doesn't help anything when you're dealing with all this stone but anyway um, yeah so they did a good job today I see they uh, yeah just looking at you know they're continuing to put the wall up all around as well but but yeah so you can see this is a huge huge task very huge task As you can see, we have a lot going on. So, and this is just one side, right? We still have uh, other sides that the, you know, the, the vision is to pull all of these tree trunks up on the five acres. You know, that's the, the goal. And so this is just one side. And so ultimately, what the owner are looking at doing is um, pulling all these tree trunks up and then once they dry out um, essentially moving them into a pile let them dry out and then burning them and they're going to continue to grade this area so all this this area has to still be graded and they're preparing it uh, this side uh, for like an orchard so all of this side would be an orchard and then um, perhaps the other side would be like uh, farming so it's a huge huge uh, undertaking that um, this stuff requires you know people just think that you just come in and and start planning and uh, things are going to be simple but uh, you know there's a lot of work involved in this this type of lifestyle you're going to be you know if what you want is this type of lifestyle and, and there can be a lot of work in Involved, so don't underestimate that. You know, don't come here with these uh, rose-colored shades on and just think that oh, it's going to be very, very simple process. And because it sounds good, it sounds like something that you should be doing, and because everybody's doing it, um, really think about this stuff, okay? Let's see, we have large very large uh, stone right here huge stone so you have to have a machine to, to do this much work it's a lot of work you know if it was just a few uh, tree trunks you could pull them up manually you know you have a few guys you know we we've done that we pulled some up manually and you know we we burnt some but when you have this many you really have to have a machine to uh, come up and actually pull them up so so anyway um, you have to take all these things into consideration don't just think that you just gonna purchase the piece of land and everything's gonna be okay so you have to ask yourself once you purchase the piece of land and you make all the improvements um, how much is that land, you know, compared to your entire project, right? Because, if, you know, depending on how much, you know, you budgeted for your entire project, like the house and land and everything, then you want to make sure that the land and the improvements on that land is really uh, no more than about 
of your entire budget project that you don't want to be spending in the land. If it is, you know, you need to you need to rethink about what what you're doing. Um, yeah, and so so yeah yeah we've had a this was a great day today. A lot yeah they did a great job. Hey Kitty, what's going on? What's up? You hanging out with me today? All right. So, so anyway, that's all I wanted to discuss with you guys today. Um, is to show you what we're doing on the property. And as always, if you like what we're talking about, you enjoy some of the things we're doing, just go ahead and um, so anyway that's all today um, if you like what we're talking about go ahead hit that like button um, or hit that subscribe button and like share you know comment let me know what you think and as always hoorah ahuru now be free